What's going on everyone? Today's the day where I finally got my record player in. And oh, this is the one I got. I got the RT83. That's the one I went with. Pretty sure you know by now by the title. But you'll see which one I went with because they got a black, all black one or a wood finished one. Oh, they were it was tough to call between them two. And by the way, I have the project photo box. That's the one I ordered through Crutchfield came pretty quick. I was used to everybody and like all these companies delaying their shipments, but this came within like three days, so I got lucky there. So that's what I'm going to be using as my phono box. So now let's go ahead and bust this open. The reason why I had to buy that, if you're new to turntables and all that, this does not have a built-in preamp. So let's get into it. Okay, here we go. First things first, let's pull this little box out the way. And there's the rubber mat, and it's supposed to come with some gloves that I think I just found them right there. Some white Michael Jackson gloves. I'll put those on in a second. But first, let's get this turntable out. Power cord, you got the RCA cables, then you have your ground wire right there. I think that's pretty cool. And you have your adapter to play 45s right there. Now, before I go pulling this out of the box, I'm going to put these gloves on because I don't want to get fingerprints all over it. I am so happy to have this. And I put that one on the wrong hand because there's a hole on the bottom. So I don't want to get any of the oils or dirt, whatever's on my hands on there. Even I just washed my hands, so I should be good. So, <laughs> Got that ready to go. So, here we go. I am so pumped up to have this. I am I am so blessed. I've been needing a good quality turntable forever. We finally got one. Okay, here we go. Now, to get the styrofoam off, how do we get this? Guess we gotta snap it off! <laughs> okay, the top part, that one's the dust cover. I'll come back to that in a second. So let's worry about getting this out first. Ooh, they put in one of those little gel packets that you're supposed to eat. Oh, oh, oh. here we are. Woo -wee. Look at that beauty. Whew. Look how beautiful that looks. I ended up getting the wood finish one over the black one because I think this looks a little bit more fancier and oh my gosh that looks beautiful let me stop waving it around and go ahead and put it down right here okay I don't know what order to do this in so I should read the instructions but first I'm going to get the bubble level on there just to see if it's level first off and then I'll start putting it together okay first things first it looks like that we got to remove the platter and put that on first so there's the platter right there, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like the belt is already connected on the platter around the, yeah, it really is. Okay, cool. So first, we go ahead, we put that down first. Okay, now that that's on, now we take the motor pulley cap, and we put that on next. And then that's when we take the rubber belt, put it around the rubber the cap can't talk right and we're going to give it a few spins to try it out okay everything is looking good next step okay just for now i'm thinking about replacing the rubber mat i seen a cool one i um i can't remember where but it was like a halloween pumpkin one i want to order it but for now we'll use the one that it came with and we'll put that on Okay, next we're getting this twist tie off the tone arm, and then there should, yeah, I see it. There's like a little piece of tape on there we gotta take off and take it out, and that way we could put the counterbalance on. Counterbalance, I mean counterweight, whatever. Okay, I got the little pieces of plastic off of the tone arm. Now, I'm gonna secure the counterweight. Next step, getting this plastic off. Now we're going to be installing the head shell. Okay, there's that. Now the next step. Okay, now it looks like we're going to be putting the dust cover on. So, let's get that over with. Eureka! 
There we go. Okay. On we go. Now it says to level it. So I'm going to do it once more, even though it was already. It's already centered. So, next step. Okay, now we're on the step of removing the stylus protector. So I'm going to take these gloves off for now, so that way I don't, you know, get these gloves caught up in there. So, okay. Okay, I got that all installed. Now I need to get the anti-scathing value to 1.8, which I already did because I seen a video on that. Now it looks like all I got to do is hook this up to my Phono preamp. So let's go ahead and get that together. Okay, sorry I skipped a couple of steps and not recording it. You can find a better walkthrough if you got one of these and needed help hooking it up. So I got it balanced. I got the anti-skating set to 1.8. Everything should be working. So now we're going to test it out. weekend to play around with this record player and listen to a lot of stuff off of it it sounds great i don't regret it at all it was worth every penny no not sponsored i pay for it on my own they're not paying me nothing i'm just saying that it's a great turntable to check out now they have other versions like an 83 84 85 i was really wanting to get the 85 but i was just like uh the price range was a little too high for my budget at the time so I went with this, no regrets at all. So overall, I've been listening to a lot of movie soundtracks. Like right now, I got Sicario spinning right now. Love the soundtrack to that movie. I've been listening to Friday the 13th, Halloween, uh, Trick or Treat, as you've seen, those spinning already. But other than that, I've listened to, this is the one I got to listen to next, is Rush's 2112. I gotta pop that in. This is the original release. Thanks to my dad, I have a lot of the original releases of Pink Floyd's The Wall, Dark Side of the Moon, Led Zeppelin's first album, Physical, Graffi Physical Graffiti. Like, I got a lot of the original releases, no repressings of those. So, I'm gonna pop these in, see how they sound. I already listened to Dying Fetus. I listened to Children of Bodom. Those sound great through it as well. So. I'm very happy with the speaker and turntable combination. I can't be any more happier. So that's pretty much my setup right there. And yeah, in the future, I'm going to rearrange this to hide the wires, make it look better. I might get like a little black cloth to hide the little gap right there. I'll think of something, but for right now, it's not going to stay like that forever. So those are my thoughts on it. And like I said, from the turntable to the speakers, no regrets. I love them so much. And of course, the stands that my father and I built, I love it. It's something I'm going to be in here most of my time after work, just relaxing, reading a book or something like that, studying up on some chess while listening to music. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing a lot of when it gets a little bit warmer. It still feels like winter here in Ohio sometimes. So thank you for watching this video, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.